hello everyone in this video i'll be explaining the problem collatz conjecture so it was asked in court forces around 1047 for division 3 actually i had you know um, shooted this video but i don't know for some reason the audio quality was not good actually my voice was not able to <laughs> uh, hear clearly so i just deleted it and then uh, now time is like 1:13 in the night so i'm shooting one more time so yeah so let's read out the problem you are doing a research paper on the famous collatz conjecture so in your experiment you start off with an integer x <coughs> and you do the following procedure k times if x is even divide x by 2 otherwise set x to 3 x plus 1 for example starting off with 21 and doing the procedure five times since 21 is uh, you know odd so we'll have to do 3 x plus 1 which is like 3 times 21 which is 63 plus 1 which is 64 so when you're doing one operation you're getting this thing and since this is even so we divide it by 2 so 64 by 2 is 32 and this is even by 2 this is even by 2 this is even by 2 so five operations in total we have done and this four is the final outcome so what they're saying is after all k iterations you are left with the final value of x so here x is 4 Unfor unfortunately you forgot the initial value okay it's like you forgot 21 please sort out any possible initial value of x okay so we have uh, in input a uh, number of test cases and every test case has integer k and x which lies in the range 1 to 20 so yeah let's take some of the examples and understand so in the first example we have 1 and 4 so in the first example we have k as 1 and x as 1 what they saying is for a given n <coughs> if this is uh, let's say odd so if it is odd uh, your n uh, will be 3n plus 1 and if it is even so your n will be n by 2 so for a given k like whatever k value they have given so that means operations you have to perform based on the value of n if it is odd or even so after doing that you are getting uh, the value x at the end after doing k operations right but initial whatever value was there and you forgot it so they are asking what is this n like what are the possible values of n so <coughs> in the first example they have said is uh, x is 4 and you have done one operation so what are the possible values that you may get so in the uh, example they have given is if you consider the n as 1 so this is odd and for odd you will have to do this operation which is 3n plus 1 so 3n plus 1 which is 4 so when you're doing the one operation right so you have done one operation and you have got 4 so after doing k is equal to 1 1 one operation <coughs> you have got the final value so this is a valid one right but i'll not be doing in this way this is very confusing so what i'll be trying to do is that so you have got 4 right so from which number you have got 4 i'll be using only the even operation so uh, let's say you have some number here as even number and whatever number is there you divide that number by 2 so that you are getting 4 and this is k is equal to 1 only one operation you have done so which means <coughs> so if that is the case which means this even by 2 is equals to 4 right so what you need to do is whatever number you have right you multiply it by 2 if you try to multiply that number by 2 4 by 2 you'll get here even as 8 so if you think of like here if say uh, uh, the n was let's say 8 initially so which means it is even even means you'll have to divide it by 2 so you are dividing in by 2 and you are performing one operation which is as required and you are getting 4 so this is also one of the possible answer and n is equal to 1 is also one of the possible answer but this i'll not be dealing because it has some uh, complement so i'll be doing with this it has some complicated so i'll i'll be dealing with this basically for a given k what i'll be doing is i'll be multiplying the x by 2 right so this is one of the example let's try to take the other other examples so in the first case we have uh, they have given one but i'll be dealing with it in the second example we have one and five and uh, <coughs> x is 5 so what they saying is 
when you're doing one operation you have got five so what is that number so basically you do multiply it by two that is 10 which means uh, it is possible that you had number is 10 so since this is even and you are dividing by two so when you divide it by two you are getting five and you're doing one operation right so 10 is one of the possible answer Here yeah, in the second case 10 is possible answer. Let's try to take the third example wherein we have 5 and 4. We have k as 5 and x as 4. So see you have got number 4. <coughs> After doing 5 operations you have got number 4. So what would be the possible value of here? So multiplied by 2 you are getting 8. Right which means one operation you have done. And uh, it's like um, yeah since this is even you divide it by 2 you are getting 4 in the same way you will have to do 5 uh, uh, backward you know um, operations so here it was let's say 16 8 into 2 16 so one operation uh, which means here let's say it is 16 which is even divided by 2 you are getting it so one operation you have done it right in the same way this two operations you have done now try to do third operation and multiply it by 2 so how many operations 1 2 3 4 5 so uh, if it were like 128 right this number so yeah if let's say your n was 128 so this is even divided by 2 64 you're getting you have done one operation in the same way 64 you have which is even uh, divided by 2 uh, the second operation you have done and you have got 32 so now uh, same thing will happen here since this is even divided by 2 we are getting 16 third operation you have done fourth operation eight fifth or operation five you're getting so basically <coughs> what you're doing is um if i try to write you know pseudo code if i try to write pseudo code what will happen is for a given this k till you have k you will have to basically multiply this x given x by two and at the end you will have to output this x right so when you do this you will be getting the uh, initial value of um, initial value basically n so let's try to do it So yeah, it is the first example. I've done it actually here. Let me try to do one more time in front of you. So uh, as I said, in the first uh, input, we have uh, test cases. So test cases I've taken care of here. And for every test case, we have X and uh, K and X. Let's take their values. And now what we'll have to do is for every K, I mean, uh, let's say k is 5, so 5 times uh, you have to multiply x by 2. So, yeah, that we are doing. And once you come out of the loop, um, you will have to display this x. <coughs> let's try to run it. Here it will be failing because they are expecting something. So, let's try to submit this code and see if it is working or not. So, um, yeah. I think uh, this is the problem. Collats collateral congestion. Sorry. So it is saying you have already submitted the exactly same code before. That's why it is not uh, you know getting submitted. Okay, that's fine. Um, see, uh, I have submitted the exactly same code. You can um, check it. So if you happen to um, copy with this uh, entire code, so it will run. So in this way you could easily solve this problem. So thank you guys for watching the video.